Bonjour, Betty. <laughs> Is this how I will start all my vlogs, maybe? No, because today's our last day in Paris. Oh, how sad. Sad. We had such a lovely last few days. Yeah. Now today's almost like our little extra day where I feel like we've seen and done everything that we wanted to do. Nikita is dragging me to a museum. Nikita is dragging me to a museum. Sounds like museum. Museum. <laughs> so we are going to the Musée d'Orsay, which is actually something nice to see. I think we're, we might even enjoy it painting-wise better than the Louvre because they have a few pieces that we're interested in seeing, right? Correct. Such as? Uh, well, a lot of the Impressionist stuff was there. Monet, Ooh. Degas, um, Van Gogh, post-Impressionism as well, right? Stuff like that. So we're excited, but first we're going to Café de Fleur. Hopefully we'll get in. So I'll see you there. Café Woo. de Fleur. All I want is just black coffee. We're at Café de Fleur. I got a cappuccino and I also got the hot chocolate to try. You have your nice espresso. Correct. And I have this little tart for breakfast. Whoa. <laughs> You could even have another um, yes. cup because I. I know. But you can share. Bon appetit. I won't tell you because you're gonna try it out yourself. <laughs> try, try, try the first bite. Good. Very good. Very good. Looks, looks very nice. Delicious. Mm. Mm. I think you're gonna love it. This omelet is so juicy. Oh my gosh. Seriously, the best omelet ever, and I love this lemon tart. It's so good. I had a cappuccino, the hot chocolate, everything we wanted, we got today. So mm -hmm. it's a really nice first sit-down breakfast for us at Café de Fleur, which is very iconic. A lot of famous people have come here: Pablo Picasso, Hemingway, Brigitte Bardot, etc., etc. So it's very nice to be a part of history. Bon <laughs> Thank you. One could think, what can you get out of an omelet? What? Out of this omelet, you can get a lot. Yeah. <laughs> wow, very good. We just ate at Café de Fleur Café behind de Fleur. us. It was our first experience having a breakfast and also eating outside, which was actually quite nice. Very nice. I highly recommend getting the omelet. It was incredible. It was the omelet with just ham and cheese. It was the best omelet we've ever had in our lives. The, the inside is a little bit runny. If you don't like that, maybe don't get it, but it's incredible, incredible. It tasted surprisingly so good. So good. I yeah. think they were out of croissants because it was, you know, a little bit later. We woke up late today, but I had the lemon tart and it was fantastic. I also got the cappuccino, which had the cute little design and the hot chocolate Venezuela because it came with the Chantilly cream on top. So delicious, so very good. We really loved it. Prices are a little bit more expensive here than usual, but compared to like a Toronto brunch, it's relatively the same. So exactly. Highly recommend. So where are we? Musée d'Orsay. Musée.
walking through the Jardin Tuileries. Right in front of the Louvre. A lot of the Jardin, even the Jardin de Luxembourg, it's like very um, not as pretty in the winter time as it is in the summertime yeah, so or springtime. All the let's say. Are down. Yeah, there's no greenery, but it's still beautiful. So this is our little shortcut. We are going to the Arc de Triomphe. She's a little dumb. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm out of it guys, too many museums. But I have to say that the Musée d'Orsay was probably my favorite, better yeah. than the Louvre, and this was my first time seeing it. Correct. The Louvre is iconic, so it's something definitely to see in your lifetime. But as for the artwork, I feel like we saw so much more exciting artwork by exciting artists like Van Gogh, Monet, Manet, Manet Degas, Degas Renoir. all these amazing artists. Yeah. So it was very fantastic. Highly recommended, and we didn't even have to pre buy our tickets because there wasn't that much of a lineup, so yep. it was very lovely. Highly recommended, especially from Nikita, my museum savant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We are going to go up. Look where we are. From what I remember, there's a lot of stairs. So let's go. My battery's almost running low, so I'm going to try to save it for the top. Aww. We, we uh, climbed the, the arc. Arc de Triomphe. And now we're going to give each other kisses. Mm. I love you. It's been such an incredible trip in Paris. Oh my goodness. Now tomorrow we are on the way to Strasbourg and then Strasbourg. Lyon. Yeah. Lyon, Strasbourg and Lyon, so follow us along. But Paris has been incredible. <laughs> incredible! It's a special city for, so special. for us. De oh, definitely special. So special. I love you, sweetie. I love you. <laughs> so gorgeous. The Champs Elysees. And then, La Tour Eiffel. Look how beautiful it is from up here. store that has all pistachio things oh my gosh how incredible I remember seeing this on the cab over the uber over and I wanted to try it and now we walked by on our last night how's your ice cream delicious my at least favorite one is the pistachio one. the pistachio is the best yes at least you can say you've had creme glacée in Paris mm, delish bon appetit how beautiful is this store I love it pistachio wow beautiful Hotel Duquen, the Eiffel Tower, Nikita waiting for Uber. So just so you know, we've been able to Uber around Paris. I am very surprised by that. I thought we would have to take taxis, but Uber actually works very well. Where are we going? Uh, uh, La du Falafel. La du Falafel, the most famous falafel place in all of France, I would say. Probably. <laughs> and I think we're going to eat inside because it's warm. So, here's their menu in the show. Very cool. Mm. So this is the hummus. This is uh, the strina, hummus, oh. falafel, yeah. and some hot sauce. Good job. Let's and dig in. Thank you. Man, yeah. I want to film your reaction. Uh -huh. <laughs> Proper is really good. <laughs> Thank you. 
phenomenal. It's bitter, sweet, all the colors at the same time. This place was recommended by Lenny Kravitz apparently. J don't judge my face because I didn't bring makeup to touch up. <laughs> I look crazy after eating that falafel, but that was the best falafel and hummus I've ever had in my life. Definitely. Very yeah. good. Extremely fresh. Impossible to translate the taste. Incredible. So I'm really yeah. glad we got to try this place on our last night because this is honestly like world famous falafel. Good. And it yeah. lives up to the hype. And it's in and out. And you're out. Yeah, and it was actually really nice that we got to eat inside. I thought it was just going to be like a grab and go kind of thing, but we actually got to dine in, which was warm and nice. Delicious. Look at the little bears in the window, so cute. I love Paris around Christmas time, it's so magical. Voilà